Oh gosh, this will be a pretty terrible matchup. Right until we get uh, the card mix so we can't target them. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure most of the tributing won't require him to target. Oh, okay. Back to the front lines, I guess. You're getting back to the front lines. But we're playing the new Dark Magician support cards, Demise. Oof. Okay. Another duality. Maybe we'll see what he's playing. Wind Blast. Still, we have no idea what he's playing. Could be Burn. Could be just some type of a virus. Alright. I can't tribute my stuff, so at least that is something to look forward. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, activate this. Or, or it doesn't really matter. Let, let's see what we can get off this. This card over here. I don't know, he might stop it anyways. A rivalry of Warlords, okay. Oh, that's cool, don't worry, worry about it, man. We're all gonna be the dark spellcasters in the first place, so we're gonna confirm all the cards. Yes, I do want that Dark Magician. That doesn't matter, we'll cycle through the cards anyways. Alright, can I, can I, can I click on it? I'm just trying to get out this guy. We need the new, the new ritual though. Oh, well, technically you can get, go for like a lot of different things. This, like, why are you waiting for this long? <sighs> There's one card from the deck. Oh, we're going for Archer Christia. Okay, so it's like a, a no special summon. Okay. I think that's probably what his goal is. So go ahead and send the Dark Magician Girl to the grave. Wind Blast. Getting rid of Christie to bounce this to the top of my deck. I don't actually really mind that at all. Back to the front lines. Oh, so he's gonna go ahead and summon that Christia. And then we're pretty much out. So okay, so his whole deck, dude, what what is that? Is that so that you RNG to go for? Oh, but with catch copy you add it to your hand. That's actually pretty creative. I I, I can't not give that guy credit for that. Because I don't think I can actually function without special summoning Dark Magician. I forgot, is Apprentice Illusion only Dark Magician or is it Dark Spellcaster Battles? It's not a bad build, dude. You know, I, I, I like creative decks. And I would say he's utilized a new card very well. At first, I didn't understand the point of this uh, deck. Dang, dude, he's not letting me do anything. I feel like it's a, kind of a gimmicky deck at the end of the day. That Well, it doesn't matter how many uh, darks we have. We have two. Oh, okay. I understand how... Okay, you know, I, I want to get this guy's deck profile after, and we can. We can do it. Um, we don't even have two to banish. We can't, we can't set anything, dude. Oh, we, we literally lost to basically Christia, but that, that's the point of his deck. His point of the deck is to search Christia, discard the card with like Wind Blast or, um, any of the Paleozoic cards that would cause him to discard. And then it just becomes Christia Beatdown, right? Oh, he, this cheeky guy, dude, he's like, I, I'm gonna I'm disrespect you, give you an extra turn. But I like it. It's different. Uh, what would I even call his deck? The Catch Christia? Oh, it's a Spell Cancer and Christia. Oh, okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to ever control a Dark Magician or a Dark Magician Girl. I actually can't... I think he would actually win by deck out? Unless Apprentice Illusion can boost up the Magician Rod, which I think has 1600 attack, which... Uh, okay, he's just going to end it. All right. End it so I... Yo, let me, let me snatch steal that deck profile off of him real quick. All right, so, well, let me go ahead and save the replay because this is how I actually do it. So I'm going to call it the Catch Christia because I think that's what it was called. Um, so let's go to the, watch the replay. Um, let's see, like, what this, you know what? We'll do a proper deck profile for this because I do want to, I, I do want to go over this. Um, so this application is called um, 
YGO card manager. And so we have to select the card database, and you'll, you'll basically see how it works uh, in a second. I'm just gonna move it off screen because I don't know if it's gonna like the load replay. Okay, I didn't know where, where it was gonna if it was gonna show what I had on the desktop or not Kappa. So I've got to go to the replays, and uh, basically we select the replay, and then we can save his deck and uh, copy it. It's a really good program. I don't actually know where I downloaded it from. Uh, oops, what name it? Hatch Christia will be the name of this deck. All right, so let's go ahead and check out his deck. Um, so we'll go ahead and sort it. And so this is his deck profile, guys. I gotta give him the credit for it because we just, Aurora. So um, it looks like it's a very anti-meta control utilizing catch copy. Cause this card's actually pretty easy to use. So if you guys haven't seen this card before, what catch copy does is it makes it so if your opponent adds a card from a deck to your hand, except by drawing, you get to review one card from your deck and add it to your hand, but you cannot activate cards or the effects uh, with that name for the rest of this turn. But that effect doesn't matter uh, for Christia, if, like, if it would be sent from the field of graveyard, you get to place it on top. And also it has a special summon effect, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is you're able to discard the card, then you re-special summon it with Return to the Front Lines, Call of the Haunted. At the end of the day, it's basically like a crazy control deck, um, but here's their profile. Anyways, so uh, we got Orchard, Chrissy at triple. We have the Spell Cancel. We have two copies of Inspector Border, three copies of Lilith, one copy, oh, I'm sorry, three copies of Extravagance, three copies of uh, the Demise, three copies of Duality, because you're going to special summon it, keep in mind, during your opponent's turn. Three copies of Genki Break, two copies of uh, Dynamic Mistress. And we have um, the uh, Drowning Mirror Force, and then... Three copies of Return of the Frontline, three copies of Windblast, three copies of Catch Copy, two copies of There Can Only Be One, one copy of Rival of Warlords, three copies of Call of the Haunted, and one copy of True Depths of the World Legacy. Wins cards activate target of five or higher. Monster Graveyard Special Summon it when this card leaves the field, destroy that monster negate. Any opponent's monster effect that activates in the same column as McKnight. So it's just another special summon. Okay. So at the end of the day, uh, the extra deck probably doesn't matter because, like, you're probably not going to go into any of these. It's just extra against targets. But obviously, Phoenix and Cerberus are, like, the main ones that just come up as the more relevant cards. So as far as, like, what this would lose to, True Draco probably just would tribute, and then you just have access to just getting rid of this, and then this gets destroyed. Bam. Um, but as far as most meta decks, honestly, this is not a bad variant of uh, Catch Copy. This is the first time I've seen someone actually use this card to be a quite viable uh, way to actually play. But so Dimes Man, I matched up against opponents and they're playing something so cool. I just gotta share it with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay of, of us getting wrecked by Cash Kirsty. Maybe we'll actually try it out one of these days. But most meta decks, at some point, they have to special summon. And uh, there's a lot of times where you're gonna impermanence or just any negate one effect. Um, th this deck will fall apart really fast. It literally relies off of discarding this, searching this, like, and, and your opponent has to search it. It is consistent, I would say, uh, but as long as your opponent doesn't go first. If they go first, I don't know how this would work out uh, necessarily because, again, maybe they've already done all their searching, but nonetheless, it's still a cool deck and I do like it for that reason. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay as well as the deck. We'll again credit to Aurora Wiz for actually making this deck. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And turn on that bell if you want to see more Fidget, Spinner, and Ben 10 content. And we out.